terminals. Um, one is here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. The other one's in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, we've got about 150 di- uh, drivers between both terminals. So okay. we're not a huge company, um, so you're more of a driver than a number here, if you will. Okay. And, um, yeah. All you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. Yes, sir, everybody. What's going on? Lockout Men back again with another podcast for you guys. I am your humble host, Lockout Men, and welcome to the Lockout Men podcast show. In this episode, it's another MTC episode. Yes, sir. It is another Make the Call episode. I am glad that you guys is here to experience this with me. So why don't you do me a favor? If you like stuff like this, if you like this type of content and you want to keep it going, why don't you support the channel? You know what I'm saying? You can do that by like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button when the videos come up. You will know when the videos come up when I turn around and drop videos every week. That's what I do with these Make the Call videos. If you want to support the channel, please do that by hitting me up in the Cash app or the uh, or the Coffee app. Get me some coffee or something like that. Help me out. You know, if you, you know, I'm not being I'm not being sponsored, and I'm doing it for you. Well, in this episode of MTC, I'm about to turn this down right quick. So in this episode of uh, MTC, we are going to be looking at a company named Lockout Men. Now, nah, we're not going to. You know what? That, that, that company name do sound sweet. Lockout Men Transportation. Coming soon. But in today's episode, we're going to be looking at equity. Equity? Yeah. We're going to be looking at equity transportation. Now, I've seen some uh, some of their trucks. I, I've seen a lot of their trailers, but not not as many as their trucks, though. You know, so let's go to the bit board right quick. Let's go to the bit board and see what ec- ec- equity, equ- equity, equity. I, I can't pronounce it. I still beat it up. Let's see what they got. Let, let's see what they got for us. So first, before before I, I go to the website, let me go to let me go to the email that they sent me. They sent me this email uh, about a couple of days ago. They says drivers at equity. Y'all y'all know what it is. Transportation help keep the country moving during the COVID nineteen pandemic. We stay open and our drivers stay busy. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna abbreviate it. E Transportation is now hiring drivers for the Midwest regional routes. The all new Midwest E drivers will start in a newer model tractors about 2018s. E runs will have you running Michigan, Indiana, Missouri. Illinois, Ohio, Kentucky, and Iowa, and keeps you out of the Northeast. I like that. I like that. Keep me out of the Northeast, damn it. Keep me out of the Northeast. So if you guys are interested, it says call 616-466-5647. Let's see what the benefits they got. They said the benefits, they got medical, vision, dental, and 401k. She said 401k is matched. Uh, life insurance, per diem is optional. So if you don't want per diem, you can opt out of it. Riders of any age. So you can have your baby on the truck as long as you have a baby seat. Um, Sam Sir tablets and e laws. Now, Sam Sir. I, you know what I should have asked if this uh, if all the information is that that the dispatch and all that other stuff is come by way of uh, cell phone. I should have asked if they cover cell phone weekly mileage, direct deposit, 24 hour dispatch and shop and no touch freight. Of course, to qualify, you need six months. They only they only require six months. Um 
MVR requirements match moving violations allowed three in the last three years. DUI careless, reckless must be over five years. Accident maximum of two preventable accidents incidents in the last three years. No more than five preventable accidents incidents in the last ten. And criminal background is on a is on a case by case basis. On their website, which is clean. I like their website. The website is clean. Their uh, work safe awards. Uh, the information right here that you can click in there for a contact form. Um, equality is, e equity is a proud and honored winner of the 2015 Pillar Award. Since 1987, Women's Resource Center has honored West Michigan employers who have imp impacted the best practices that empower women in their workplace. Women's Resource Centers called this an honor, called this honor the Pillar Award. This award annually showcased the noteworthy efforts of local employers who are pillars of support to working women, including commitment to workforce diversity and representation of all women, regardless of social economic status, racial, ethnic, or cultural identity. So, with that said, man, let's uh, let's uh, jump right into the call. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, equal. And I'm not. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but equality transportation, right? Uh, equity transportation. You e got it. Equity. You e got it. E equity transportation. Okay. 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 There okay. you go. Uh, now we're good. <laughs> yes. 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 We are. Yes, we are. Uh, may I speak with a recruiter, please? You are. Oh, okay, okay, very good, very good. All right, well, my name, yeah. my name's, uh, my name's Lashawn, and uh, I'm a five year truck driver, and I was just calling to see what uh, e equity transportation <laughs> has to offer. Yeah, not a problem, dear. Where's home for you? Uh, my home, my home could be anywhere, but I'm out of Ohio. Okay. Okay. Just curious. You know what I mean? So I give you the right info, of course. Oh, okay. Um, okay. we've got a Midwest regional position. Keep you Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, Iowa, Missouri out five days home for two full days. All right. All right. Uh, so the two, yeah. full, so the two full days that's come home Friday <laughs> off Saturday, Sunday, and then back out on Monday. Yeah, unless you got held up for some reason, you know what I mean? Then it would be, you know, whatever, Saturday, Sunday, you know, or Sunday, Monday, whatever, if something happens. Oh, you okay. still get your two days is what I want to say. Oh, okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay, that might be a, that might be a, uh, interesting. You guys are also an over-the-road company as well, too, right? We do. We have a, um, a Midwest Southeast combo that we call our over-the-road Mm -hmm. And they run primarily east of the Mississippi River over to PA and then Michigan down through Florida. Oh, okay. So you guys don't do no northeast at all? That, You're that, not going to go to New York or Jersey or anything like that for us. The farthest we go east would be uh, Hazleton, PA, and that's not even that far east. Oh, okay. I don't even like yeah. that. I don't even like PA. PA sucks also. The biggest, <laughs> it feels like it only takes like a hot minute to get there, but it takes like an eternity to get out of it, <laughs> you know. So, <laughs> it's so long and boring, right? I know, right? I mean, the only thing that's, the only thing that's good about the PA is the sights, to be honest with you. That's, that's probably about it. But as far as the, as far as the traffic, well, I'd say minimum traffic, but more of the construction and the twists and turns mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. Uh can you yeah. give me can you give me a background about the company? Because I, I I've seen I've seen some of your trucks out here, but you know, I haven't seen a lot of them. Yeah, we're a smaller family owned company. We've been around for thirty three years. Um we run freight liners, that's all we have, so that's what you've seen. And um yeah, we've got two terminals. Um one is here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, the other one's in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, we've got about 150 uh, drivers between both terminals. So oh. we're not a huge company. Um, so you're more of a driver than a number here, if you will. 
Okay. And um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Vision Dental. We provide life insurance. Um, we've got a 401k with a company match. Riders are welcome um, of any age at any time, which is nice, and there's no fee. Okay. And um, we do one-day orientations on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then you would roll out from there. Um, it is paid 200 bucks as well. So what? And, um, so with so coming in with I mean coming in to orientation, how would you how would you bring me up there, and what might I have to bring? You'd have to bring your driver's social card, med card, long form if you got it, and routing and, and banking account info for your direct deposit. Oh, okay. Um, so okay. just your normal basic stuff. Um, I could get you a rental car so you can bring all your personal goodies and drive them up so you have them for your truck. Okay. And um, what about? Yeah, it would be just one day. Go ahead. Uh, what about for? Would I would I be in a hotel or something like that, or this is just one day? Come up, put my stuff in the truck, and then take the car back, and then I'm good. No, I'd have you drive up the day before. Like mm-hmm. uh, we do them on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So let's say you wanted to do a Tuesday orientation. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd have you pick up your rental car uh, Monday, uh, drive up, put you in a hotel, you'd spend the night, and then we'd knock out orientation Tuesday, and then you'd be rolling by Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. You'd be gone. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we knock out your drug screen before you get here, so we keep it to a day. Make oh, it nice okay. Okay. So my less so, painful, if you will. Oh, okay. <laughs> so like all the paperwork will be like uh will be like online or some stuff like that, and then as far as drug screening, I will do it here in Ohio before I come up there. Yep, you would do it before you come up here, um, and you would do the paperwork here, and you know what I mean. Have your little road test, get, meet everyone here, meet your dispatcher, you know, get assigned to your truck, get a load, and then off you'd roll. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What about what? What do you yeah. guys require for pre-employment drug screening? Is it urine, a hair follicle, or both? Yeah, urine. Urine. Okay, okay. You 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 guys wouldn't be uh you guys wouldn't be going the ways of the hair follicle though, right? Because, you know, some people no. don't have hair. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure they can, I'm sure they can get it, but, yeah. So they can find some, right. but you might not want them to. <laughs> you know, right? You know, right? I uh, know, I do. <laughs> with, all that, with all that good stuff said, what is the what is the starting pay there? I'm a five-year Um, You'd driver. be looking at a base. Okay, you'd be looking at a base pay of 45 cents a mile, and you can earn up to 50 cents a mile by your weekly mileage. We've got a bonus for that. Okay, but my but my base pay will be forty five cent. Is that is that with incentives per diem or is it just straight forty five cent? You're gonna it's gonna be forty five, and then you got a, a weekly mileage bonus if you hit twenty eight hundred miles or more. You're at fifty cents all your miles for the week, mm-hmm. and then we do have per diem, so you're only taxed on sixty percent of your income, which is nice. And is uh, that yeah. is is that is that mandatory or is it optional? Optional. Oh, okay, okay, because yeah, I'm I'm so used to not having per diem now. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> are you guys uh, are are you guys uh ten ninety nine or W two? W two. Oh, okay, okay. Uh do you guys offer a lease purchase program for ten ninety nine? I'm going to go with sometimes we used to do it quite a bit, but we were replacing and getting rid of our trucks that we were leasing out. We're getting uh, all new trucks. Mm-hmm. So probably not. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. The ones that we were leasing, we're just, you know, selling them out right and just bringing in some newer trucks. So they're all, you know, like 18s and newer now that we're getting in. Okay, cool. Awesome. What about, uh, mm-hmm. what about, what about, uh, what, what else is all paid to the driver as far as breakdowns, holidays? Detention and layovers. Uh, detention, layover, breakdown, multi-stop. Oh, okay. What about holidays? After a year, you've got how you've got that, and you've got a uh, week's paid vacation as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, well, getting getting paid forty five cent a mile or up to fifty cent a mile. What would be the what would mm-hmm. be the what would be the miles I'd be averaging a week? Depending on your habits, um, that's the hard part. So anywhere from twenty seven, three thousand, just depends. Okay. Would I would I still be averaging that even if I even if I was to take this uh regional position? The the regional, would I still be averaging that? You can. You can. It you know, it, it really depends on the driving habits of the of the, the person. Okay, okay. You know. Now you some say, people like to hang at the truck stop, some don't. 
Nah, nah, I don't like hanging at the truck stops. I'm good on that. Have my have right, my right. have my load ready after I drop off a load. Yeah, we good with that. Uh, what, <laughs> uh, you just mentioned that you guys is getting rid of some of y'all trucks that's in your fleet. So what what equipment that you have currently in your fleet? They're all Freightliners, um, like thirteen and newer right now. Um, okay, okay. But like I said, we're getting rid of them. So. All right. Uh, automatics, manuals, both. And can we choose if you do have both? Yes, you can. Okay. And yes, we do. Okay. What amenities that are... Would, in, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. What would be your preference out of curiosity? Automatic. <laughs> for okay. sure. No, 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 totally. I mean, for sure. Yeah, no, I cool. mean, don't get me wrong. I, you know, I could drive a manual too, but, you know, I, I prefer, I prefer an automatic, you know. Um, yeah, nope, that's cool. What about what about uh, what's the amenities that comes in the truck, or is it bare bones? It's pretty bare. Yeah, you know, just your standard stuff. Bunk. You're gonna want to put your own fridge in there. Oh, okay, all right, that'll work. Uh, mm -hmm. Do do you guys do you guys have a driver camera system in your trucks? Oh yeah, yeah everybody does now. In and out, or just outward? It's both. Okay, yeah, some. Let me ask you this. Uh, being that you guys have it in and out, um, let's say if the driver don't want to don't don't want to be seen, can we cover the in camera? Or, like when you're not driving? Yeah. I mean, if you're not, then yes. If you are, if you're driving, then no. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? That would have to be on. You know, that's a safeguard for you. Oh, okay. You know, you don't want to. You don't want someone saying, you know, all this hearsay, if something were to happen, you'd want proof that you didn't do anything. I got you. I got you. All right. Um, now, let me tell you something. I'm not a felony, uh, a felony. I'm not a felon. But my question is, uh, do you guys offer, do you guys give drivers with felony backgrounds a chance? Yeah. How old is that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh Last okay. the last uh the last person I talked to told me that it goes back to like five years or something like that. It gotta be like five years. So what what about you guys? Or is it on a case by case basis? Case by case. It depends on what it is, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, all right. All right. Well I you right. know you know, I do appreciate you coming on and and talking with me. Um to oh, totally. you know, so I can get a better understanding of a equi wait, equity. 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 We equity. got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah. Equity uh, <laughs> transportation. Thank you very much. You know, you guys sent me an email. So that was, a, you know, that was another reason why I decided to uh, give a call. Uh, so for my last question, uh, it pretty much deals mm -hmm. with uh, with driver safety out here. You know, in the light of all the dangerous situations that's going on right now, you know, with the riots, the uh, defunding the police departments and stuff like that. How do you guys, or what precautions do you guys take to protect us drivers from when we go into high-risk cities? We really don't go into any of them, quite honestly. Okay, okay. So We're not really going into any of those areas that they're having the issue. So if a driver... We don't go into downtown Chicago or anything like that. Oh, okay, okay. So if a driver, if a driver, <laughs> if a driver must, like, if myself say uh i call you up and i say i don't think i want to go to this particular drop or do, to this to particular delivery because of safety issues would i be penalized mm -hmm. for that no 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 not at all you you can always ask for a different load at any time oh, okay awesome What's yeah if you're afraid of whatever you know you can totally do that What's your guys' policies on firearms for self-defense? Um, they're not allowed in the trucks. <sighs> Damn it, man! Even even I if know. I even even if I have my CCW, and also let me ask you this: uh, no. Now I know that's you, you just said that it's against company policy, right? So of course it's in the yeah. It's a, it's against company policy. But what if what if a driver has it on them regardless? Um, and say that he gets into a situation where uh, somebody comes up to him 
threaten his life. His life is in danger and he just uses it, you know, to protect himself. Now, being that it's against the company policy to have it, but if he didn't have it, it would have probably would have been a whole different confrontation. So do you right. guys still would penalize him for that, even though the situation would have probably been different if he didn't have it? Honestly, well, um, haven't had that, so I would say it's probably going to be just, it, you know what I mean? It would be a 50-50 shot. It would probably depend on how it how it played out, I guess. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? It would be completely up to, you know, the owners what they would want to do at that point. Now, that's a good, now, thank you. Thank you for your candor and your honesty because that's, that, that, I, obvi that's, that's the answer that I was pretty much looking for too. A uh, couple of, a well, couple of other recruiters kind of went the other way, but still, I, I feel that, that us as truck drivers carrying high value loads now, uh, we get into a situation and, Let's just say we didn't have our 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 protection on us, but the the mm -hmm. the people that came to do us some harm did us some harm, and then you know we're laid up in a hospital, uh, out of work because of the situation, and maybe the situation would have been different if I would have had my protection then I wouldn't be, right. you know, in a hospital or six feet underground. So. Right. So No, I totally, I, I, I know exactly where you're at. <laughs> right. I'm following you here. I, I, again, so what, I, what did I, they say? Now I'm curious what they're, what they're saying. I, well, I don't lie. So what are they telling you? Well, I, the last few uh, talked to me, told me that, yeah, I, I was still, you know, I, even in that situation, I will still be penalized. But I, I kind of came back and said, well, if you're a company that's for the driver, then in that situation, I think that will show much more candor on your part to show that you actually stand with the driver because not only that he, you know, protected himself and your load, you know what I'm saying? Now I know it's, now I know it's probably, you know, like I said, you know, if he didn't have it because of company policy, that's understandable too. But let's just say he did have it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just say he did have it. And then that situation did happen. Then he was able to come up on the better end mm -hmm. of that situation. So. Right. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I agree. But yeah, I mean, you're going to have that probably with more of the large companies. Exactly. The large companies are going to be like that. You know what I mean? You're just, you know, being honest. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you again. Out of all the, com well, out of all the companies I called and all the companies that, uh, that's out here, why would, I, why would I, sh why should I drive for equality? E equity. 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 See? <laughs> so you can get the name right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I got your ass there. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not interviewing. You are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Lefron. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I would say because we're a smaller company, and you'll be treated like a person instead of a freaking number. <laughs> all right, I appreciate that. That's why. <laughs> all right, well, that's all, that's all I have, and this was an enjoyable conversation. So, thank you very much. Uh, I will definitely. Oh, you're take, welcome. I will definitely take this information with me and take it back to uh, you know, to my, you know, I'll post it on my social media where I network with a whole bunch of other truckers as well. So, thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, yours too, dear. And you be safe out there, okay? I will. I will. Thank you very much, ma'am. You're welcome. <laughs> bye bye. Equity, everybody. I must say, I must say, that was a smooth conversation that that conversation was almost like 
two friends sitting at a cafe and just talking about what the company can offer you. Like, this is a conversation that, that we just came together and just, you know, like, you know, one of the, one of the hands, one of the hands on the face conversation. I, I enjoyed this conversation, man. What do you guys think of the conversation? Equity. This, uh, equity. They, they got, uh, they got a, they, they sent me an email and, uh, that was another reason why I gave them a call. But, uh, what do you think, man? They got, they, they, they pretty cool. They, she said they got, now, as far as their equipment, they're dated back to 13, but she says that they're getting rid of them. Uh, you'll be starting at 45 cent a mile. You can make up to 50 cent a mile with the mile bonus. So if you do a certain amount of miles a week, you'll be getting an extra, extra 15 cent. That'll go up to like 50 cent a mile. Um, of course, they got per diem there, but it is optional. Uh, you could take your you could take your kids, friends, or whatever what you write off the rip, and it's free. Uh, of course, when you come up to their uh, terminal or to their uh, terminal for orientation, it's a quick in and out term, uh, quick in and out orientation, and you will get paid for it. So if you guys interested in equity, give them a call at 616-466-5647. And the young lady will definitely jump on the call. Make sure you tell them Lockout sent you, all right? Well, that's it for this episode of Lockout Men podcast the mtc edition i want to thank you guys for watching and listening if you like content like this and more don't forget to like subscribe like subscribe comment share and hit that bell and that all button now make sure you share this with all the potential drivers out there because somebody out there might be interested in equality all right. So if you want to if you want to help a brother out while while doing this or, you know, give me some support while doing this, hook me up with some coffee, man. I'm thirsty. I am thirsty over here trying to do all these calls for you. I do about two, three calls a day for you guys, man. Hook a brother up with some coffee, man. Yo, the cash app is in the description below. That's lockout dollar sign lockout, man, along with the uh, coffee app. All right, so what I want to do, I want to go back and uh, spotlight some comments from the last video, which was Z transportation. All right. And in that video, uh, if you guys are interested in Z transportation, definitely give them a call. But there was only one comment in this uh, in, in this uh, video, and I want to uh, share it with you guys. DJ D says, I contacted these a-holes. Bad choice. 1099 will make you less than a company driver. Then you're on the hook for taxes, no benefits, all live loads and unloads, no detention pay. I got I got those details from a driver that was fleeing. Be rare. Well, DJ, let me let me uh let me tell you something. Um sometimes drivers that gives reviews especially bad reviews i mean i'm one of them you know if i feel jaded or something like that of course i'm gonna go and probably give a bad review but you gotta you 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 gotta contact the company and find out for yourself what the company gotta offer because not everybody is going to give you Maybe it's not everybody is going to put the company in a good light. I'm just saying now there is true that, you know, that you got to talk to the drivers if you want to know about the companies and all like that. But still, you got to further that with the information that you find when you do your due diligence. Now, all companies might not work for all drivers. You just got to find which one that a that'll be a niche for you all right um and especially 
drivers that that's like YouTubers or something like that. You just got to be you got to beware of what they say about the company, because what might work for them might not work for you or what might work for you might not work for them. I'm just saying. All right. So keep that in mind. So that was the spotlighted comment from the last video. Again, if you guys, uh, if you guys like what I do, hook a brother up. And then on that note, I will on that note, I am lockout men. And this is the lockout men podcast. And if you guys want to come on the show, hit me up in the Gmail. That's lockout men. At, I mean, lockout men podcast at gmail.com or find me over at Instagram and get me over there until then until next time you guys take it easy y'all stay blessed and i'll come at y'all with another video peace